Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going from noob to max level with the new gate through in King Legacy. So yeah guys, get straight into the video. And here we are guys at King Legacy. So today of course we're going to be starting over from level 0 and making it all the way to level 4300. You guys seem to enjoy my last video which was uh, of course the toy noob to max and gate is the other fruit. So yeah, today we're going to be buying gate of course. Again, two times the XP, all that good stuff. Gate is the other legendary fruit which I'm actually excited to see because gate and blocks fruit was really good. So I'm hoping to see, well, I'm hoping gate is going to be uh, the same in this game as well. So first thing is I do have to buy gate. So I'm going to gift it over from my other account real quick. And there we go okay so we gifted ourselves gate which is perfect so let's quickly check it out here it's right here oh my god okay let's confirm redeem and there we go we should have it right oh i keep forgetting i have to go to the store and actually equip it from there so uh view and equip there we go we got gate perfect all right so we start off with the first move here which is uh warp piercer so let's check it out all right come on do something nice oh oh yeah that might be good let's check okay it's not too hard to unlock every single move. i'm pretty sure the last move is a teleportation move but yeah actually before we start leveling up i do want to actually give myself 12 hours of two times the xp so let me go my other account and give myself 12 hours real quick uh, my account is here now so we should be able to trade over the 12 hours of two times the xp let's trade over this and we do need uh this for later on oh i need to be level 300 okay so i can't give myself uh the sea king's blood which is what we actually need later on but for now let's just get the 12 hours and that's basically all we need from all my other accounts so we can finally start leveling up there we go okay perfect okay so let's actually start here first of all let's equip it there's still actually the crown that we need to get which is the exp crown but we we'll get that later on it's all good all right let's start by attacking this guy right here there we go he doesn't one shot which is a bit of a problem but i think after we get our first uh, kill it should okay there we go let's attack all of them wait am i doing something wrong why does it feel so weak or am i just tripping right, let me use it again here yeah this is gonna take a while let me start using smash and all that good oh smash is one shot so i should use smash and then now if i put all my skills into fruit i should be doing more damage i think all right let's check this out here do i one shot all right perfect yeah this is gonna be a lot quicker now there we go perfect one shot them now we can move over straight away to the next quest all right there we go so we collected all these guys up we need to put all our skill points in first and then we're gonna straight away what piece says one shot oh close to a one shot which is actually quite good now right, let's kill them here all right, and there we go so yeah i'm just keep leveling up here and i'm gonna come back when we're moving on to the next island all right let's kill this boss here one more time and there we go can we move over yes we can perfect and we also do get our next move which is going to be warp walker so let's check what this does oh oh yeah this is good now that's a move that i needed so yeah let's make our way over to the next island real quick we could also use warp piercer to like get some distance and a warp walker yeah this is actually very i can't wait to like, get a teleportation thing so i can just teleport to each island i don't have to actually just like travel to them but let's get this quest here uh, let's try warp walker yeah that's good we need one shot of these guys yo these guys normally are a little difficult at this stage but we can just basically just do this and boom there we go yeah that's perfect oh my god i'm actually so excited to unlock every single oh no okay good god those guys reset my quest uh, can i hit all three of them if i just go like this oh yes i can okay yeah but, yo this might actually be easier than toy and i can't wait to see the other moves other moves might be a bit stronger which it probably will be but there we go we can one shot them now we can't one shot them what makes no sense to be honest because i did get stronger all uh, right let's see if we can one shot them now okay we still can't one shot them uh, let me try it one more time here so i do have more skill points to use uh, this is it trust me we're gonna one shot come on oh, yeah we do one shot perfect all right so yeah i'm gonna just keep grinding here i'm gonna complete this island and i'm gonna be right back okay so i just finished up here i'm doing 116 i stayed a little bit extra so i can skip the first quest well i'm hoping i've done it right so i can skip the first quest but i think after this island i should be able to get to 500 uh mastery here or 500 points i need to set my spawn though that's the thing i don't know who the spawn point guy is so oh no i still have to do this quest because that's annoying i just nearly died what the hell i don't one shot these guys come on kill them nice the old spawn i don't know i think it's bugged or broken or something because it barely works nowadays but let's kill this guy here there we go we get our hp back which is good oh yeah we can move on straight away to the next quest which is what we want but i'm gonna just complete this island guys or oh, actually you know what? i'm gonna come back when i unlock my next move and there we go we managed to unlock our next move finally so let's check it out here and see what it does all right come on what does it do oh okay it does a lot of damage that's actually quite good it's like a singular hit i think it is good damage uh, which is amazing i can combine it with this move and straight into this move when we kill the boss straight away but yeah i do want to unlock these moves quickly at the beginning of the video so you guys like get to see all the moves quickly at the start of the video so i'm gonna start quickly skipping now and yeah i'm gonna come back when i unlock the next move which is at level 1000 or 1000 uh fruit so i should be back around level 300 ish 
and we're finally back guys as you can see here so one more kill and i'm pretty sure we should be reaching 2000 skill points which is uh literally very very good because unfortunately at level 1000 i got a teleportation move so that wasn't the best i did not want teleportation skills man it's like a waste of a skill to be honest but i did manage to get lucky and i got an item of a chest which looks like this here i might use this just to help me out because gate is not the best when it comes to combat but are we gonna be able to get it to 2000 there we go okay the next move is going to be Vortex Annihilator. First, let me show you dimensional helper here. So, if I press E, there we go. Let's go to Star Island. Very, very quick, as you can see. And then, as we just goes back, I can go back to the desert. So, yeah, I do love teleportation fruits because it does save you a lot of time. But now, let's go back to the desert. There we go. And let's check out a Vortex Annihilator right here. I see. Let's use it. And nothing happened. Oh, but never mind that. <laughs> I need to press V, not C. Let me press V here. Come on. What does this do? Oh, bro, what? This looks like Gojo's. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hollow purple, bro. It's hollow purple. It's, it's not a vortex and idea. It's just straight up hollow purple. But holy, okay. That actually, that actually looks like a very, very good move. So I'm pretty excited here. How much damage does it do to a guy that's full HP? Let's find out. Okay, half HP, which is very good. So that I can just one shot this guy with one combo. Put all the rest uh, into fruit. Just keep leveling up fruit as much as we can. But yeah, I think this should be the last time we do this quest. So let me quickly. Uh, Play a very safe. There we go. Do we move over? Okay, never mind. We still have a way to go. So let me see what level this quest is. Level seven. Level seven two five. Okay, I'm just come back, guys, when I complete the rest of this island. All right. So this should be the final quest here before we move over to the next island. So let me clear, kill this guy one more time. I do love the vortex move, the V move. That it's just like a hollow purple. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was intended to be a hollow purple. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm a very very big Gojo fan. But there we go. We can move on to the next island, which is going to be the Sky Island. So we can just straight away teleport there uh i think i teleported yeah right over there so the teleportation is pretty good it makes it a lot faster and let's check something out here is the vortex annihilator or the hollow purple good let's check here come on yeah it collects all the more yeah that's actually very very good does it one shot please one shot oh close to a one shot but i can quickly just do this yeah that's perfect so yeah i'm gonna grind this island out here and i'm gonna come back and i'm about to go to the next island okay this should be the final quest of this island here that we move on to probably the most important island in first sea actually Marine Ford is more important, but we're going to be going to Bubble Island after this. So let's quickly finish this guy off. Come on. There we go. Okay, there we go. Level 1000. And then we can straight away teleport to Bubble Island. Yes, there we go. Straight to the right place. This is a very important island because you open up two things. It opens up uh, the market or the market dealer right there. Not right here. Wait, where is it? I think it's a little bit. Oh, this is building right here. This is the market dealer. It opens up the black market. And it also opens up Haki, which is a very important thing, especially for second C. But there we go. We can use it. All right, let's press T. There we go and we can start doing this quest right here we have vortex annihilator next or the mop and we kill them there's three quests there's this one this one this one i think we leave this island at one two hundred or one three hundred yeah one two hundred we leave this island yeah 200 levels in this island yeah i'm gonna farm it out and yeah we'll come back when i hit level 1200 all right i'm pretty sure this should be the last level then i can move on to the next island here all right let's see here okay let's kill this guy pasta one more time i do need to work on my hp because uh with the gate fruit it is kind of annoying because is like i gets too close to the opponent and i get hit a lot but there we go we can finally move on to the next island okay but i know a lot of you guys all need to just see me grind the whole video so what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna skip all the way to level 2000 here you might be asking why because it is a big jump but still i do want to showcase a lot of third c which is my main priority for today's video so i'm probably gonna start skipping a lot of first and second c i'm trying to figure out what island this is so annoying that i don't know like which island is which maybe i should have paid closer attention to the names i died okay oh lobby island okay okay there we go lobby teleport it to it and we can start the grind but yeah as i was saying i am probably going to skip all the way to level 2000 i think it's uh, a lot more beneficial especially for you guys you'll find the video more enjoyable if i showcase a lot of third c and all that good stuff first and second c i've been here for a while especially first c so yeah i think after this quest i'm gonna make a big cut and i think i'm gonna come back when i'm literally one level away from 2000 but yeah as you can see the bosses are going to be very very easy and the more I level up the more easy it's gonna be but yeah guys i'm gonna be right back as soon as i hit level 2000 and there we go we finally managed
managed to reach level 2000 basically 50% of the way to the end so now we're in the final island of second sea which is going to be fishman island so let's quickly go to the dimensional hopper and go to shot it's, it's not called shark park i'm pretty sure it's called fish land yeah let's go to fish land there we go teleportation is actually so op but there we go we should be here i might stick to one quest in this whole island because uh i've realized sticking to one quest is just so much better let's see if this quest is good for my moves so if i just use vortex annihilator will it get everyone okay no that's not good i try to figure out a way to collect everyone with my vortex annihilator so we can just two shot them basically but i also managed to max out my fruit here as you can see my fruit start but let's try that again here so if i place it more towards this and then catch that guy like this okay yeah this is not good yeah we're gonna have to skip through this quest really quickly it still shouldn't be impossible to do this quest but that's unlucky and there we go okay so how many levels do we get around five okay only four levels okay, that's not great uh, it doesn't matter to be honest we're still gonna grind a lot here okay there we go we can finally move on to the next quest that quest was not nice whatsoever it was very very hard so let's try see if this quest is gonna be any easier uh, come on so we're gonna start with this use hollow purple would this even do damage i don't think so i think i messed that move up uh, hollow purple is really really good but not in this situation because it takes too long and there we go we killed them okay that's not too bad uh we need a lot of fresh fish to get into third sea so how many fresh fish do i have right now let me check real quick oh i got twilight so i don't even know where it does but how i got eight fresh fish only okay that's not good we need to farm a lot more and there we go we can finally move over to the next quest which is going to be another boss fight here oh why are these guys spawning in i mean they do give me a chest which is good but you're just wasting my time bro come on die i think we should kill them here also if i haven't mentioned already i will be giving this account away i don't remember if i've mentioned it but i will be giving this account away along with my toy one i still haven't given away my toy one yet but yeah just leave a comment down below on why you want this account and uh, i should host a giveaway pretty soon i'll just dm or i'll just reply to you guys uh in the comments saying that you won but yeah let's carry on with the grinding here let's just see if we can defeat this guy easily or not all right come on let's kill him and come on let's see is he gonna die there we go okay yeah very simple okay this should be the final quest so that we can move on to the final quest of second c which is going to be the fishman boss so let's quickly finish this guy off i don't do the npcs inside the two split up so it's not really worth the time here you can basically if you just farm this quest you can get done in half the time but there we go we can finally move on to the last quest we need to get 50 levels which uh, should not be that bad uh, let's start the fire here the worst thing is uh, this guy does hit pretty hard and uh, it's unfortunate that my move has a lot of aoe okay i thought the move would collect more uh fishmen but it only hits one guy which is perfect there we go we finished it such an easy fight but yeah i'm gonna farm this up and i'm gonna come back when we're doing the second sea quest okay the final quest here let's see if we can uh quickly finish it uh, i'm actually really really excited we managed to complete second sea in a pretty good amount of time to be honest i've been slacking a little bit like uh, just me afk and it's kind of hard to make new two new to maxes at once but there we go we can finally go to second sea but yeah, as i was saying it's really really difficult to make two new to maxes back to back in a short amount of time it's because i feel like i just like just finished the back i already played everything i feel like i'm just repeating everything which is what it's supposed to feel i guess but let's talk to this guy here there we go accept and now we can just teleport straight back to fishman but the teleportation is really helping a lot with the the time saving you know we're just gonna have to keep killing this guy over and over till he drops the map so come on let's kill him we'll take some eye later are we gonna get the map straight away come on first try okay there we go first try perfect let's finish this guy off and there we go we can just teleport straight back to the war island talk to this guy talk to the traveler there we go and we can finally go to second sea uh well yeah second sea so let's go back to the star island and there we go it's right there perfect that was actually really quick we completed that quest so quickly holy uh let's talk to this guy and let's teleport okay here we are okay first of all i have to put in all my stats into hp i'm probably gonna put a lot into your sword as well so we can use the sword where's the first quest it's right there okay perfect all right if we can collect all these guys here once i'm probably gonna stick to this quest for like 200 levels oh we barely can okay that's unfortunate okay this should be the final time we do this quest here then we get to level 2400 so let's quickly finish these guys off this is what i've been doing this whole time very very simple a lot more efficient to kill them i think than doing bosses and i still get like four to five uh, xp or level i mean at a time so yeah it's a lot better to kill them i messed up there so i wasted a couple of seconds but it's all good now we can move on to the next quest which is going to be uh, these guys i think or is it these guys not too sure uh, beast pirates so let's check can we collect all these guys up like this okay we kind of can this one's gonna be perfect we're gonna stay here for like 200 levels on just that one quest so we're gonna have to survive or manage to sort something out i think if i just get this guy on the edges here like this use this like this how much damage will that do i'm hoping for a good amount of damage 
yeah pretty decent that we can finish them off like this yeah this shouldn't be too bad here so yeah i'll just complete this quest and i'm gonna come back when i hit level 2450 all right this should be the final time we do this all i've been doing is collecting these guys get to the middle throw down a hollow purple and we're just gonna have to one shot them here with uh any moves to be honest i think war piece it doesn't one shot but we can just combine it with this straight away and it does there we go we can move on now to this quest i'm actually very very excited about this quest come on collect all of them with a single hollow purple and i think it will yeah it does okay yeah we are staying here for a while and we're finally back guys so we finally managed to reach level 3000 here and we're literally going to be moving over to this quest i think we just moved over actually so let's quickly make our way to this quest right here all right let's talk to this guy okay all right joey let's fight him let's see how hard joey is gonna be i am skipping a lot in today's video is because i don't really want like too much of leveling up i just want you guys to get the idea of what gate does and of course take you along the journey of me getting to max level and it looks like we're actually going to be getting to max level pretty pretty soon which is very very good i am really tired right now i've pulled an old nighter and uh, i don't think it's working i think i'm failing it's just hit 1 p.m and i'm basically giving up so i'm hoping i can hold through till the end of the day but yeah this should be very very easy i think i'm gonna probably farm these quests uh right here uh, let's kill joey one more time here but yeah, i can't lie i'm really happy that king legacy has finally released an update i should have said this last video because the update is like a week long now but yeah i'm really really happy that they did actually release an update after such a long time and it's a pretty decent update i'm not gonna lie i only seen the fruits so far haven't really experimented with much else and of course third c but yeah i'm really happy with how like the outcome of the update is and i do really love this gojo like esque move which is a, it's a whole purple bro let's be honest but yeah we finally managed to reach level 3012 but yeah guys i'm gonna keep farming here and i'm gonna come back when we're moving over to the next island and there we go we can finally move over to the next island so what island is it gonna be it looks like it's gonna be the skull island pirate skull i was completely off holy i was so far off what island is that i'm so confused uh what's it gonna be i'm just gonna guess oh i guess completely off holy at least i know which one this is because it's an important place another very very off guess i think if we just went over there it would have been quicker by now okay we're getting we're getting closer but can i tell is this even an island that i go on i think i do actually but what is it come on snow yeah we keep going backwards i can't lie dock two it's close very close we just came from dock two is that i think that's this no it's not but what island is that man it's actually annoying dead tundra well we keep getting further and further away uh, docks one okay so it was the skull island which is what i guessed at the start but i clicked on pirate skull by accident oh i am so stupid holy but yeah here's the first quest uh let's start it up can i do this here like this so get, get those guys and then do this suck them all up and then i think i should two hit them and then kill them let's see boom okay okay it's not a two hit but it's basically a three hit there we go okay it's not too bad but yeah i'm gonna farm this quest out here and i'm gonna come back when i'm moving over to the next island because i'm only gonna probably do this quest till the end of this island it's a pretty short one and there we go we just completed this island here so we're moving over to the next island and uh, let's see if we can get it first time here i believe we're going to be going to this place oh my god okay we actually got it okay that's actually good that is pretty good oh no it's a boss fight i think this whole island is boss fights i might be mistaken though let's check is there like a a place where you fight npcs that are close to each other no nope, it's just straight boss fights all the way through yeah this could be a little tricky let's try out the first boss fight see how hard this boss fight is okay it's actually quite a, a long boss fight i can't lie does he transform into a big creature yeah this is gonna take I, I might even go back i can't lie i might go back and just skip this whole island doing that one quest i would have completed like two quests by now yeah i think i'm gonna go back i can't lie yeah i'm gonna go back let's go pirate school oh no it's not pirate school it's just school island yeah i'm gonna just keep farming that quest that i just came from i think it's the best case and yeah i'm gonna come back as soon as we do finish up with desert island okay so i just managed to get level 2200 which means i can move on to the next quest i think this is gonna be this island right here okay we went really really far away i think this is the, one of the final islands in the game actually so we should not be here what is that loaf yes www okay are these guys close they're not that close but it's doable i think i'm gonna just do this i think i found a new strat here so this is what i do so i just collect these guys up every one of them like this get to this guy use this and then use that first move and this one and then end it off with this and then make my way back to the quest giver as soon as they die claim a new quest and i'm back in okay yeah this is perfect okay we managed to complete this whole island from doing one quest for literally like five to ten minutes so that's actually not too bad now we're moving over to the next island which is all the way the opposite side of the map so i'm pretty sure it's going to be this one okay i wasn't too far off what is it what's it gonna be oh i think it's lava 
lava oh it could be well it's gonna be the ice of course the ice side if it's a boss fight i'm gonna do the same thing go back and just fight those guys over and over again oh now nah, these guys are way too spread out yeah we're not doing this we're going straight back where did we just come from oh we're okay from love okay yeah i'll just keep going the quest here that island's completely worthless okay i'm pretty sure this should be the final time we do this quest that we can move on to something a little bit different i'm getting bored of fighting the same looking enemies i can't lie but i mean saying that though they're still giving me amazing xp and there we go we killed them can we move on to another island so let's check uh, what island it is okay i think it's the pirate school let's check is it yeah it's the pirate school okay oh this is a perfect quest right here when do we leave this island all right around 350 wait did i say 350 i meant 3500 but yeah this quest is gonna be very very good let's check all we need is just to hit one of them and then straight away like this yeah but this is gonna be amazing okay perfect i'm gonna grind this out here and get to level 2500 and diggers might be right back as soon as i hit that level okay this should be the final quest and i'll get to level 3500 here i uh, did guys actually might cause me a little trouble let's try to finish them off all right come on this whole purpose should finish them off come on there we go okay perfect i think we can finally move on to the next island yes we can you know what this video is getting very very long so i will be skipping here a massive jump to level 4000 which is basically the level that i do need to get to 30 yeah i will be skipping a lot and there is gonna be right back as soon as i hit level 4000 and we're finally back as you can see we're literally one level away from getting to third c so let's quickly teleport back all the way to here and let's kill the flamingo just one more time that's all we need and we get enough xp you know what this will have to be the flamingo we can actually kill anyone uh is there a where was this quest here i keep forgetting I swear there's a quest giver unless she's done this quest like a second ago you know what, it's fine we'll go kill don mingo here real quick all right here we are let's take this quest here and let's quickly kill it what i realized about this fruit is that it's extremely bad pve with most aspects of pve but it's extremely op for pvp the only reason it's not good for pve is because it has no stuff uh it doesn't stun bosses well bosses don't have stun in general if it did oh my god how op this fruit would be in grinding but unfortunately it doesn't have that so that's why it's not really the greatest fruit you want to grind but if you do want to like kill people this is by far the best fruit i think in my opinion it was actually i don't know maybe in some people's hands this could be like the best pvp fruit all uh, right come on is it gonna kill please kill okay it didn't kill and there we go we killed it and we didn't even level up <sighs> and there we go we managed to get to level 4000 which means all we gotta do is go to here I've already prepared all the materials that I need. Let's go up here. Let's talk to this guy. Accept. Click the craft. This craft. There we go. Now we can teleport to headquarters. And then from headquarters, we have to just go straight that way. Wait, no, not headquarters. I'm tripping. We teleport right here to Wano. Now we go straight over there. Okay, perfect. I see the island. I'm hoping we can kill the Kraken first time. Okay, here we are. Let's talk to the mysterious altar. And uh, let's get it cracking. Okay, we're probably going to die a couple of times. So let's start off by taking at least one uh, tentacle at a time. This is going to take a long time. We do have like around 10 minutes to kill it. So let's see how much damage we can do in that time. We're actually doing so much damage. Holy. I did actually notice this fruit does have a high damage output. Failed. No. No. No 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 i failed oh my god oh what an l holy that's such an l i am gonna complete this guys and i'm gonna be right back as soon as i do complete it there we go we finally managed to get it holy okay i had to stretch myself thin to get all the materials i did without grinding i had to trade so much but we finally managed to get it so now all we're gonna do is get the last 300 levels yes finally okay let's quickly go over here to the shore and teleport to third c to be the third c without the quest isn't really anything special but it's a lot easy to grind and i'm not gonna lie i find the npcs there extremely easy to kill so yeah it's gonna be fun to grind in there only 300 levels and then we've completed today's video so i am really really excited first of all if i can find the docks that would actually make me even more excited but i don't even know where the docks are to be honest now i found them okay perfect should be right here the squid come on let's talk to him and take us to third c we do see a little animation but you guys probably seen it already so there's no point of me showing you again well if i get the or choice to skip it of course i'm gonna skip it wait what it just took me back to first c um let's look at elite pirate third c okay we might as well just do it that way i guess and there we go we're finally in third c so without wasting any time let's get cracking straight away uh, let's start off with the first quest boom there we go we're gonna kill four deep divers this is the perfect quest for me which i'm gonna stay out for 100 levels of course so let's see how easy it is to kill these guys there we go and then one more hit should do it well a couple more hits there we go okay one of them didn't get aggroed which i need to uh, pay closer attention to okay there we go we kill them and we get a decent amount of xp 
three and i didn't even have my thing equipped so let's equip the xp crown and yeah let's get back to work okay sh this should be the last quest before we move on to another set of quests but this has been very very quick i actually love this method so much and if you guys are want to level up from zero always use this method find the like a group of people who are so close and make sure you try to have a fruit that has a pretty decent aoe size if you do that you're sorted you're literally sorted for the whole game but now we're gonna be moving on to the next quest we're level 4102 200 more levels and we should be done with the video let's check here uh there's that there's that boss quest and there's this quest right here i am doing this quest for sure so yeah let's quickly check it out here so yeah this quest of course is gonna be another 100 levels of grinding and it's gonna be basically the exact same thing just a little bit longer due to uh me having to go back and forth but should not really have time by a significant amount and let's end this off here let's use this and there we go it should kill them before i get back yep now I go back just rinse and repeat holy final quest oh my god we've made to the end the end is actually in sight let's do this come on we got this so easily come on we got this this guy is not that strong whatsoever he's actually super super easy and there we go there we go we finally done it with literally 26 minutes left to spare from 12 hours to time zxp oh, i just want to end this video to be honest guys i just want to end it this has been one heck of a journey but yeah guys that's going to be for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash that subscribe button Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the gate fruit or what i like to call it the gojo fruit and yeah i will be giving this car away in like around seven days so make sure you so make sure you leave a comment and subscribe and leave a like on the video and i'll probably pick out a winner randomly from the comments and thank you so much i'm gonna catch you all next time peace out